Well, welcome to our second video on seeding an idea project. Today we're going to be looking at how you seed an idea project using a database. Last time we looked at how to do it manually, but today we're going to seed an idea project with a database. And I'm going to assume, um, because these videos are aimed at people who are new to Aquarium and new to IDEA, that you've probably got your own favourite database program which you're using at the moment and it's probably not something which Chess OK produce. The purpose of this video is not to try and convert people away from one type of software to another but rather to show you how you can use your existing database software with Aquarium. I'm going to open up Chessbase, that's what most people use. And you'll recall that last time we created an idea project on the Latvian Gambit so I'm going to quickly um, create a database of games based upon the Latvian. Create new. This is important, watch this. It needs to be PGN, not the standard chess-based one. Give it a name. Latvian, I'll call it Latvian 2. There we go. Save. Now go to your list of games and filter them with the correct position. I'm going to restrict mine a bit with good games only. You'll see why this is important towards the end of the video. There it goes. Mm, quite a few. Then what you do is um, select them all, copy, and go to that blank database which we created on the main screen and paste them in there. Okay. Close down chess space completely. All right. Now open up Aquarium. I've just patched mine to the latest build 7.10. And you'll recall last time that this is the uh, the Latvian Gambit project which we created, and we had 13, 12 or 13 tasks of our own which we manually inserted. Well, watch the difference this time. Now what you're going to do is go to the Database tab in the bottom left, go to Open Database here, find that Latvian 2 um, PGN database that you created, left click, right click and go to Mark All. The games list should turn a sort of yellowy orange colour. Right click again and go Send Games to Idea. This bit is really important. You need to make sure that the idea project matches the one that you want to send the games to. For example, you definitely don't want to be sending all of the Latvian positions to a project on the Sicilian, for example. So make sure that that says Latvian. You need to select the absolute move numbers, so make sure that's selected. Uh, it's White's turn to move and it's move 3, so we want it there. And to move 9 seems sensible to me. Now click OK, making sure everything else matches what I've got on the screen. And the program should freeze for a couple of seconds whilst it's working and it's filtering through all of those games to get those positions into our idea project. Now go to idea. Voila, look at that. 1,570 positions have been added. <laughs> that really is considerably quicker than doing it manually. And not only is it quicker, you get all of your favourite games in there, maybe the really cutting edge master games that you want to analyse, they all get inserted, even the analysis that's um, in between the games can get added in. So seeding a database with, um, sorry, seeding an idea project with a database really is a very very fast and very very relevant way of getting your project up and running. In fact, the problem with seeding a database, uh, sorry, using a, a database to seed an idea project is not that you get too few positions, it's that you can easily end up with too many. Let's suppose that this was more of a mainstream opening like the Sicilian or the Rai Lopez. If we weren't careful in the way that we set up that PGN database in Chessbase, then we could really run into trouble here because when you click on send those games to the idea project it's really easy to add 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 positions to the idea project and you'll be stuck for months uh, while 
um, idea munches its way through uh, all of that. So set your database up carefully, be conservative and filter out the bad games and then you'll end up with hopefully a really useful list of games and positions which idea can munch its way through and will minimax the result and give you uh, some really good analysis at the end of it. That is how you seed an idea project using a database. Next time we'll look at how you do it using an engine. Thanks for watching.